Hey guys and welcome to today's video which is a little bit different because as you may see I have a little guest here. Uh, this is kind of like a new pet but I don't really count, I don't know if I count these as pets because I'm only going to keep it till next spring and there's a big reason why and you can probably tell by the title what it is but it's an elephant hawk moth caterpillar. So, um, if you've been following me for a while, you'll know that I have a fascination with caterpillars. I have kept many over the years. I believe they were painted ladies, peacock. Um, we had another elephant hawk moth, Harry. Um, and obviously he hatched out to be this pink and olive green, amazing moth. So I really have a fascination with these. And my friend was actually in his garden, moved something and found this guy and uh, asked if I wanted him. So I said, yeah, because basically hawk moths will pupate from the start of autumn and go into a chrysalis throughout winter and emerge in spring so i'm just making sure he makes it over winter and i believe he is an elephant hawk moth i think he's smaller than harry um but he eats fuchsia like hawk moths do and amazingly when i was trying to get this to focus because my camera is awful at focusing at the moment something dropped out of him and it was very loud when it hit the floor and i've seen these in his tank and i didn't know what they were but he has massive poops okay now one sec this is really really gross but look at this okay now as i said the focus on my camera is awful but this is a fresh poop I thought it was just chunks in the dirt. I did not realise this was caterpillar poo. Can you imagine? Would you ever thought that came out of a caterpillar? Like, essentially, I do have caterpillar poo on my hands right now. It's kind of gross, but it's kind of impressive. His, he, right, this is going to sound gross, but he must have a massive butthole. Anyway, now I know... Oh, are you okay? <laughs> Sorry, did I startle you? <laughs> um, now I know what they are. Um, I would definitely clean them out. I honestly thought they were just chunks, you know, like they blend in really well with the dirt. I thought they were chunks of dirt, but no, they came out of this. That was insane. But yes, yeah, so he loves fuchsia. He will be with me till next spring. And if he, pu well, when he pupates and stuff, I can film that for you guys maybe if I manage to catch it and I can do different updates. But yeah, if you're like me, just caterpillars are always so fascinating. And um, I'd like to take you along on that journey. Of course, if you want to see any of my other videos, I have many, many butterflies I have kept over the years and moths. And one I would tell you to avoid would be brown-tailed moths because, well, from my video, you could tell there was lots of reports on them being very dangerous. And the year I had them, which I think was last year, I was covered in rashes, arms up my neck, all over in rashes. And I denied to my parents that it was moths. I was like, it's, it's not the moths. Like, you know, they just live outside my room. I don't really interact with them. But no, the little hairs come off of them, go into the air and clearly just cover you in rashes. And I had such a reaction. And it was only once they had hatched and I would got rid of their house and everything um, that I realised, yeah, it was those caterpillars. So you can watch the videos on them if you want to see how they turn out. And they actually breed in that video and lay eggs. Um, I did three videos on them. Um, I'll link down the, the playlist down below. I think they're all in the playlist. But please avoid them because my summer was absolutely hell because I was covered in rashes. Anyway, um, so this is Barry. And um, I will finish on some time lapses I took of him when he's eating. You may notice he will eat a load and fall asleep and then start eating again and fall asleep again. Um, but yeah, I just, you know, it's just a short little video. There's a lot of drama and all sorts going on on YouTube, so I thought this would be something a little bit nice. But yeah, so hope you enjoy them. Thank you for watching, guys, and goodbye.